Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <sighs> my name is Kylie. I am an author, author tuber, um, voice actress, audio narrator, and professional nerd. And I've been MIA for about two and a half months. And I have a very good excuse for why I have been MIA for these past few months. Stop chasing all the city lights. Breathe me in, go on and take your bite. Count on me to make you come alive. So the last time I posted a video and recorded a video was beginning of July during Camp NaNoWriMo. And I was working on my novella, Christmas novella, that was supposed to be released in November. It is not going to be released in November, at least not this year, due to circumstances. So I was working on that, super busy, you know, just trying to put that together. And then on July 19th, my husband and I found out that we were pregnant. So... I got the pregnancy brain, first trimester, fatigue, slash morning sickness, slash just not wanting to do anything <laughs> syndrome. And I haven't been around because that's kind of taken priority. So I'm in my second trimester now. I'm 14 weeks. And... I have been able to write for the first time in two and a half months, which has been super frustrating. Um, I've heard authors talk about pregnancy brain and not being able to be creative during like the first trimester and sometimes all through pregnancy. So I was really frustrated that I couldn't write. But this last week, the last week of September into now, which is October 1st, I've been able to actually sit down and work on Claymore Project 1, finalizing it and getting it ready for late 2020. So yeah, husband and I are having a baby. It was totally unexpected and a really nice surprise for 2020. I mean, why not? It's 2020. And um, yeah, with that came a easier hair care. So this is why I'm back to red because the silver purple was really hard to maintain and I would have to bleach and tone <sighs> roots and all of that. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go back to red. So today actually I got this done with my girlfriend who's a hairstylist and I'm so happy to have my red hair back, but more happy that I don't have to worry about all the crazy stuff people have to do for purple and champ purple and silver hair. It's crazy. Those Instagram models make it look easy. It's a mess. It's not easy at all. That is where I have been. I apologize, but I don't apologize <laughs> because I feel like that is a valid um, reason for not posting. Um, however, it is October 1st, so that means it is now Preptober time and it is officially quarter four, so Q4. I have my Q4 goals written down and ready to be put on my handy dandy sticky notes um, to put on my Kanban board. So let's get going on that. But I just wanted to take a little bit of time and kind of explain where I've been. Um, I'm here. I don't know how often I am going to be making videos maybe once or maybe probably twice twice a month um again i am getting my energy back in the second trimester um which i'm super thankful for i didn't have a super bad first trimester um my morning sickness was more like a hunger sickness it wasn't really like nausea it was always nausea with hunger or hungry nausea it was very strange um, I only got sick a couple of times, so all my friends were like, you're having a boy. And I was 
I'm like, well, I have no idea what I'm having. So <laughs> I'll believe you. And we are, we're having a boy. So apparently uh, boys are easier in the first trimester, according to my friends who have had girls than girls are because everybody I've talked to who have had girls has have had horrible morning sickness where me, I kind of didn't really have that much. I had a lot of fatigue, which didn't let me get a lot of work done. So I am really thankful for the energy, but let's get into these Q4 goals because that's probably more or less why you're here. So as you know, I write all of my goals out. Um, I have to see them all on paper. So instead of, you know, reading down through this list and forcing you to look at this, I will read it for you. So of course I have audio goals. <laughs> Pregnancy brain is a real thing. And I have definitely loaded myself with audio from my husband and I in October. Because you forget. <laughs> and I did not do the best at like writing down who was doing what at what time. So it's going to be very busy October for audio. Um, so we have audio goals and I have currently six projects. Um, three of them are small novellas and three of them are pretty big projects. So I already have one of the smaller projects done, thankfully. So everything else can move ahead. For the LLC, I have yet to create the logo or order the record book that we need because baby happened. <laughs> And then of course the ick happened, the pandemic happened and my husband's gonna do my logo, but we've just been kind of, he can do it whenever. Um, but the record book thing was kind of put on hold because not everybody was in offices to be able to get a hold of. And then I just have to organize taxes and fees and commission paid to my agency for my husband and I for the tax year of 2020. This year has been absolutely fantastic. I am really thankful that I took the year off publishing. It's crazy how everything kind of just fell into place because we were able to start paying our taxes quarterly like adults, like a real business. And so now there's going to be no major surprises um, come January or March when everything is due because we're so on top of it. And then we did create the LLC, which does help us out during tax time and taking some of those hits down because of what the LLC allows for benefit type deals for businesses. And uh, that's super nice. Um, for writing, writing is a lot. Writing, I kind of split this into like writing slash books because I am writing and I'm getting back more in editing mode right now. However, I am in the process of rebranding and recovering Legend. So Legend will no longer be Legend. It's gonna be something completely different. It's gonna be titled something different. The names of the books are gonna be titled something completely different. And I just got the first mock-up cover for number one. And guys, I am beyond happy. I am so excited to relaunch this series. In five years, I've learned a lot. And I think I've finally found my brand and I am very excited about it. So the goal is to edit Claymore 1, which I'm currently in the process of doing, to finish, to send to my editor. Um, I need to still wrap up the last few chapters of Claymore 2 and then go back through and edit to completion to get that ready to go to my editor. And then I need to plot Claymore 3, which will probably happen at the end of the month to write it during NaNoWriMo. Um, since I've had so much time to think and sit down, um, I do know where, you know how you plot things in your head, but you don't necessarily write them down, but you know, it's kind of what I did over the last two and a half months with Claymore 3, I kind of know exactly where it's going. It's um, the sister story, super excited about it. And um, yeah, it's gonna be pretty easy to plot and write. And then of course, uh, I have a novella for Claymore already written. I just need to 
rework it a little bit and um, put in the paranormal elements. And then of course I have recovered, I'm in the process of rebranding, so recovering and my least favorite thing in the world, re-blurbing. Blurbs for the back matter is, but it has to happen. And then for personal, which is super changed from get on a sleep schedule and work out because when you have pregnancy insomnia, you, you sleep when you can. So personal goals are, you know, get the baby registry finished and wrapped up or keep working on it. Um, work out 30 minutes a day when I can, or, you know, I don't do heavy workouts. I do a lot of light stretching, ride the bike, squats are really good, and um, light weights, like five to eight pound weights for my upper arms, which is kind of what I'm focusing on. Not focusing on really anything in the core other than um, working on my pelvic tilt, and of course, uh, pelvic floor exercises, which is not something I'm going to get into here, <laughs> but um, some days I'm really good and I can definitely get in a 20 to 30 minute workout. Sometimes it takes me little sprints, like 10 minute sprints here or there to do workout throughout the day. Other days it's like, mm, this isn't happening. So I'm trying to really make sure that I at least stretch daily and get up and move around. Um, also for personal, we're going to be moving to a new place um, at the end of this year when I'm six months pregnant, which is fabulous, but I'm really excited to be going into the new place that we're, we are going into. Um, super nice, super quiet, super secure, which is what we want. And um, obviously <laughs> look up uh, breathing techniques, birthing positions, birthing classes I found online for my husband and I to do and to practice because I'm not going to go in there not not armed <laughs> because I know things are going to go however they're going to go but I just want to make sure that I know how to breathe know what positions to take and um, make sure that my coach who is my husband um is able to take over when I'm like freaking out at the end, going through transition, saying, I can't do this, I can't do this. So um, we're definitely gonna be working on that. So those are my Q4 goals. A lot of them are overlap from what I was hoping to accomplish last quarter, but two months of the last quarter, two and a half months actually, of the last quarter was spent baking a human. <laughs> so let's get going and write these puppies down so I can put them up on my Kanban board so I can at least feel human, semi-normal, back to the old grind again. I'm going to be using the blue for obviously the personal baby step because that is what he is. He is a baby boy. And so we're going to be using yellow for audio. Um, LLC will get the dark pink and well, LLC will get the light pink and then the writing in books, since it's a bigger stack, um, we'll be writing in books. I do want to find out um, different color little pads of post-its. So if anybody knows of where I can find, I know Amazon probably has them, but anybody has a favorite type of different color post-its, link them down below because that would be great. seen my Kanban board before and I'm gonna go ahead and put these puppies up so let's get going <laughs> bite off more than I can chew. Um, again, for this final quarter, 
I'm definitely going to be easy on myself. I'm going to take it easy. I'm not going to really push it too much, but, um, I will say minus Q3 this year has been one of my most productive years yet because of using the Kanban board and the, uh, Sarah Cannon's heart breathings, um, kind of routine. Uh, last year I used it the year before that I started in the Q4. So this is my second year using it and I will, will never plan <laughs> any other way. It's great because it's so task oriented and you really do get to, for every three months, focus in and pick things, goals that you know should be able to be attainable. And when you get those goals done and you hit them, um, it's a really great feeling. This year was supposed to be my year off of publishing to kind of get my butt back in gear, to work on my next series, and to not necessarily um, rapid release, but definitely have um, books one through three ready to go before I actually publish. Um, that's just something that I've learned from the Legend series, which is going to be rebranded, and I'm so excited to show y'all what is happening with that. Um, I'm so excited. But um, a lot of things I've learned over the last five years of publishing, and I decided to take this year off, and I have written... Well, after this month, I will have completed the first two books in my new series, I've written a novella and which isn't going to be published until next year which is totally fine and also I finished um a contemporary that may or may not ever see the light of day but um I'm toying with releasing that under a different pen name so I have written four and I hope to write at least another full-length book in my new series and a novella a 25k novella. So um, this has been my most productive year yet. <laughs> and uh, it's all because of the, the Q, the HB method. So big, out, big thanks to Sarah Cannon for bringing that all to us. And uh, yeah, it's, it's crazy how productive it allows you to be within a year. One quick thing I do want to show you is I bought the new Happy Planner Fall stickers. These stickers, guys, are amazing. This is why I bought them. They had so many cute cat puns and cute just fun little stickies in them totally worth it. It's called the fall set and you can get it, you know, Happy Planet or Joann's or Hobby Lobby or Michael's anywhere. Um, super happy with it. I also already treated myself to next year's planner, which I'll give you a sneak peek at. It is the 2021 Cat Lady Planner. And I'm really hoping that they release a sticker book to go with this if they haven't already. Um, I have to go check and see <laughs> if they have released a sticker book. I haven't seen it yet, but I am ready to go rock and roll with um, 2021. I'm due March 30th. So uh, yeah, the first quarter is going to be absolutely insane. I hope you enjoyed this video. I Again, I apologize, but I don't apologize really that much for not being around for much of Q3, <sighs> but I've been growing a human and it's a lot more work than I thought it was. <laughs> and I never expected to be a mom. So, um, it's an adjustment. It is an adjustment, but it's a really good adjustment. I'm super happy. And then we're both super excited to meet him. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and one love.